next guest sounds like one you'd see in a spy movie. For nearly 15 years, Emily Hakate traveled the world as an officer for the CIA, actually hunting terrorist threats. But when she had a near-death experience on an airplane on her way to an assignment, Emily says it woke her up to what her death would mean as a mom of three young boys. And that inspired an epic life pivot. Take a look. As a case officer for the Central Intelligence Agency, I've done some crazy things. I've met terrorists, I would meet with Al-Qaeda, and then I would rush home to tuck my kids into bed. In 2014, I was heading to a high threat meeting on a plane over the Indian Ocean when we hit a storm and the plane started to go sideways toward the water, spinning out of control. The lights went out, People were screaming on board. And as we were heading toward the water, all I could see were the faces of my three little boys at home. And when the plane miraculously corrected, I decided that there was a big career change in my future. I chose sleepwear because it reminded me of being home, being safe, being with my family. My leap of faith in starting this company allowed me to turn in my badge and pick up a very soft, luxurious, 100% cotton Luke's Pima robe from Petit Flume. Please welcome former CIA officer turned CEO, Emily Hakate. Come on out, Emily. Well, first, thank you for working tirelessly to keep us all safe um, and comfortable now. What a transition. <laughs> Six, it, it's stunning. Six months ago, you revealed to friends and family your secret life as a CIA officer. Just six months ago. Yes, that's right. My children had no idea. My, my family had no idea. My but, brothers had no idea. What did they think you did? A diplomat. A diplomat. Um, that's pretty easy to explain away. We lived overseas. We sort of look a whole lot like diplomats. When... <laughs> <laughs> now you got my mind racing. What do diplomats look like? So when, when you revealed this news just six months ago, what was the reaction? The most surprising reaction? The most surprising is that they had no idea. That means you were good at it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, I, I really thought maybe there would be some inklings that their friends would have said something. But the reality is, is that my oldest one was 14 at the time, mm. and he was shocked. Wow. He was shocked. He was probably the maybe most talkative of the bunch. He's the oldest, yeah, he's yeah. the leader, and he was on the couch, kind of curled up. And then the second one, Beckett, who's usually my quieter one, just didn't stop talking. He wanted to, he wanted to know everything, I'm i I think sure. it was the opposite of it. He's like, he's walking around going, wait, 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 so are you really my mom? <laughs> <laughs> Your, your husband, Christopher, also worked in the CIA for a decade? For over a decade. Over a decade. That's, yeah. That's mm -hmm. tremendous. So, so take me to this moment. I think a lot of us can certainly identify with, at some point, worrying about your children because you're their lifeline. Now, I, I don't, I've never experienced a plane falling out of the sky, but there you were in this moment of life and death, and you thought about those children. So I was in war zones before I had children. I think I was fearless. I, I wasn't afraid. I, I had a clear mission. We were really, after 9-11, we were really trying to do what's best and keep our country safe again. And the greatest surprise then is once you start having children, you have this vulnerability yeah. that you don't even realize that you had mm -hmm. before. You know, I know there's a lot that happens in the middle, but at some point you're inspired to create pajamas. I mean, I can't tell you. A natural pivot. Natural. Counterterrorism to pajamas. It is. <laughs> I don't think I've seen a greater transition in life. <laughs> so what inspired that? You know, I think I traveled a lot. I used to live in France. Literally in France, you can walk into some of the grocery stores and see these classic pajamas. Yeah. I wasn't reinventing the wheel, but I wanted to bring this into homes. And the more that I thought about it in the years since that happened, I honestly think it had more to do with home 
safety. Comfort. When do you put on your pajamas? When you're home. Yeah. When you're with your family. Yeah. You know, I think that was the overlying um, motivation to suddenly come into something that was wildly different than what I'd done before. Yeah, because like comfort food, your pajamas are comforting. It, it just makes you feel safe. I, you know, they tell you everybody's got a story. I'd seen your brand, Gwyneth Paltrow, a number of other celebrities had fallen in love with this brand. And one of the things I love about this show is because I say everybody's got a story, let's talk about it. I did not know. Let me show you my son. This is him Aww. in petite plume, Aww. your pajamas. I mean, I, I had no idea. The team told me that you were coming on, and I said, wait a minute, I think that's the pajamas that my son was gifted. I mean, the house shoes he stole from the hotel. But, <laughs> <laughs> but and I said, that's a, not knowing my child was in some comfortable pajamas created by a woman who looked at life and said, I've got to be there for my children. And I want to find a way to make others feel comfortable. I just think it's such a beautiful story. Well, thank you. Thank you. Does it feel like a movie for you? <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting because I think that the, the story is still being written. Yeah. I think there's a whole nother chapter out there. I think it was really difficult for me to roll back or to, we had to ask permission to roll back our cover. Yeah. and. I didn't have to do it. Somebody said to me, doesn't it feel good to have your cover roll back? Doesn't it feel good for people to know the truth? No, no, this is like what you keep near you for so many years. When you go into different situations, it's your cover that protects you. So it was a big leap of faith to sort of roll that back and I didn't need to do it, but I feel like there's a next chapter. Well, I think that there's so many layers to your life that serve as an inspiration, including finding your pivot, right? Because that's so many times we think that life is meant to be one thing and then you find your pivot. So we're happy that you're on and congratulations Thank you. on this. Thank you. Um, it's phenomenal. So we both have things here. Yes. You, you have something, I have something. Okay, you're, you're gonna open well, it first? Okay, you go first. I think I'm supposed to go first Okay, here because you, I had something special. I didn't realize that you were already a fan. Yeah. I had no Moses, idea. Moses, clearly, yes, clearly I am too. Moses. Okay, well, this is for you. This okay. is a little gift for you. This is for me, okay. Um, oh my gosh, let me open this up. Oh, oh, ooh la la, look what I'll be doing tonight as soon as I leave. These are gorgeous, <laughs> beautiful. Thank you. That's 100% silk because we thought Tamara This is too cute silk. to wear to bed. I'm gonna wear this out with some heels. <laughs> this is so cute, thank you. So luxurious, thank you so much. And then I didn't realize, but I brought some from Moses as well. I mean, listen, you have sons, they grow out of pajamas oh really fast. You can, I tell people, you know, when you have a kid, everybody, oh, get this. The one thing I wish I had done in reverse was just say, give us pajamas. Yeah. We go through pajamas around our house like, oh, Oh, that's I know, a genius. I know. Did we nail it? <laughs> I literally. <laughs> we had a conversation about what would Tamron wear? Oh, what will Moses wear? You picked it out right. We nailed Listen, it. I think we nailed no. it. No. <laughs> you know my child better than I do. <laughs> Meanwhile, I tell him when he's walking around, I said, I know you feel like you're Thurston Howell III. He doesn't know what that is, but these are amazing. Well, thank you so much. And because you are such an inspiration, that's not all, Tam Fam. Emily, she did not just bring a gift for me. Emily is giving all of you $100 petite plume <laughs> gift card.